the season for reflection. And I have a reflection for you. Research has shown that what happens to you before you're 8 to 10 years old can significantly affect your life as an adult. Quick, how many agree? How many of you would consider you had a happy childhood? A difficult childhood? All right. I want to pose a question to you. What do you think becoming an orphan would do to your childhood? This is something I'm going to talk about today. My dad, my dad was born in 1918. Do some math on that one. <laughs> my dad was a wanderer. Born in Grand Prairie, he wandered the northern mines, he wandered to the east coast of Canada, he was a wanderer for probably about the first 45 years of his life. At 45, he'd realized that his body is broken down. He can't wander so much anymore. He bought a hotel. He was helping other wanderers. My mom, whom he met when he was 48, became his wife. Well, obviously but she was the cook in the hotel. That's how they met. My dad and mom got married when he was 50. I was born when he was 52. That was a bit of a surprise. 50 years old and he gets his first child, first and only child. And because of this surprise, he was very proud to have me. His name is John. Guess what mine became? I'm not a true junior, though. This story, mom and dad, very happy, very loving. Soulmates, as it were. But it didn't last very long. My mom died almost exactly on my second birthday. Almost exactly. Dad was pretty heartbroken. He died two years later. All right? Wandered all of his life. Only knew my mom, his soulmate, for a couple of years. Where does that put me? My family has a strange history. And so in this strange history, I have from my mother's side, my mother had four children, my father had one. My oldest sister was married the year that I was born. I was born in January, she was married in August. I was at her wedding, under a table, made my mother have to go change her dress because I puked on it. Funny little stories. My sister had a one-year-old daughter and so, I was an orphan at age four, but I was lucky that I had parents. Not so lucky in my memories, though. Because when my father passed away, four years old, I was the only one at home in a country home. My father passing away is my first memory. My oldest memory. Don't remember much about that day, but I remember that moment. Pretty scary. What does this do to a child that's being raised? I was lucky in that I had people with me, but I still have the knowledge in me that people are gone. This concept of people are gone continued. I only ever knew one grandparent. That grandparent, my father's mother, she died when I was 10. Right? And so, in my life, people go away. People die. Like, 
It's a theme that goes throughout my life. I have seen more people pass away than I, care, I really care to think about. But I have thought about it. This has been something I've had to overcome. And it took me a long time to overcome this. Through high school, how many of you, if you have close friends from high school, raise your hand. I have zero. When I came back to Canada, I didn't contact any friends from high school. The friends that I have come from university. It was another death of my oldest sister, I said, she was married the year I was born, her husband's father. So they're raising me. He's kind of a de facto grandfather. It was his death in my third year at university that I realized I have no emotion. I was never happy, never sad. I dated and I had breakups and it was like a broken record. There were many things like this happening to me. That death set me over the edge. I got emotions. I found emotions. That was scary. That was the year I got kicked out of university. <laughs> I was dealing with things that I hadn't been able to deal with before. So, what happens in childhood? Where does that lead you? How does that affect you? For me, I had good friends, I found good friends, they've helped me grow, they've helped me realize that things are okay. But it's also made me realize, my brother, he went in a different direction, he went outwards. For me, everything was inwards. My brother did things that he shouldn't have, shall we say. He's lived a very external life. It took me a long time to get out of my body, to trust people. But it's also made me realize that I've, I don't have parents. Everything is on me. My decisions. I paid for my schooling, I paid for cars, I paid for houses, I paid for travel. There's never been a bank of mom and dad. And most importantly, it's made me a better father. I have something my father didn't have. I have two children. My first is my son. My father is John. I'm John. My son is? Not John. <laughs> but my father was John Malcolm. My son, his middle name is Malcolm. And so, Things happen in childhood, but there's no excuses, there's no real reason why you can't overcome. Life can be difficult. There's always choices to be made. Never give up. I loved that. I loved hearing about you. It felt like you